Hey there, Newton here. Welcome to the bite size tutorial series for FPS. Now that the enemy can shoot at us, we can now technically lose the game. And we still don't have a way to win. So this time, we will add the win and lose state of the game. Open up our growth project, and we will create our singleton that will be our game controller. Let's create a new node scene, and rename it to game event. Then, we'll save it inside the actor folder with a new one named world. Add a script, and firstly, we will create our custom signals. Create the win and lose function. We will also be adding a restart button. Add the restart input. For our single counter run whenever the game runs, we will add it into our autoload. Let's create the UI for the game, create a new control scene, and rename it to UI. Place a texture rec. You can use any background you want, but for this tutorial, we will use the Godot logo. Next, add a label, then rename it to win. For the game over label, we will just be duplicating the win label, then change the values. Now, we want this UI to just show up whenever we win or lose the game. So just click the visibility icon and hide the texture and labels. Let's also save this to the world folder. Next, add the script, then write down the variables. On the ready function, we will be connecting the custom signals we made on the game event singleton. Then add the function that will run when the signal is triggered. Next, a checkpoint for us to win. Create a new static body scene and rename it to exit. Add the mesh instance, then select a new box. Change its color to green. Add the collision shape, then a new box. Save to the world scene. Add the script. Then we will just be connecting the body entered signal. Now we will add the lose state to our bullet scene. Below the if statement for the enemy, we will be adding a statement if it is the player. Let's add a disable function for the player and enemy when we change the game state. Connect the signal for the player, then the signal trigger function. Connect the signal for the enemy, then the signal function. Alright, now we can win and lose the game, and also a visual indicator if we win or lose the game. On the next episode, we will add the game juice, so don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon. Leave a like and comment, and until then, take one step at a time, and cheers!